Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Tables can be very useful tools when working with a publication. You can use them to display data for a publication, to add a colorful grid to a design, or even to use as an invisible alignment tool for page objects. These are not all of the possibilities of tables, but a few common examples. A table is a structured layout of information containers arranged in vertical columns and horizontal rows. The individual containers are called cells. They are often used to store data, although publisher can also use them to organize page objects by creating a structure for the page layout. To create a basic table, click either the Table button in the Tables button group on the Insert tab within the ribbon, or click the Table button in the Objects button group on the Home tab. When you click the Table button, it will display a grid along with a command in a drop-down menu. If you want to create a simple structured table, roll your mouse pointer out and over the grid by the number of columns and rows that you want to insert into the table. The dimensions of the table will be shown above the grid as the number of columns by the number of rows when you roll your mouse pointer over the grid. Click your mouse when you have the desired number of columns and rows highlighted to insert a table of the displayed dimensions into your page. After creating the table, you will probably want to perform some data entry. Moving into cells to enter information is easy. Either click with the mouse into the cells that you want to enter the information, or press the tab key on your keyboard to move from cell to cell, left to right, top to bottom. Keep in mind that if you press the tab key when you're in the last cell of the table, which is the lower right corner, Publisher will insert a new row for you to continue the data entry. Cells can also contain many lines of text if needed. Entering text into a new cell works in the same manner as it does when entering text into a text box. When the text reaches the cell's border, it automatically wraps itself. You will only need to press Enter on your keyboard if you want to create a new paragraph within a cell. Another way to create a table is to click either the Table button on the Tables button group on the Insert tab, or click the Table button in the Objects button group on the Home tab. Then select the Insert Table command from the Buttons drop-down menu. This opens up the Insert Table dialog box. In this dialog box, you enter the number of columns and the number of rows that you want the table to possess in the two boxes provided. You can then click the OK button to insert a table of the specified dimensions into your publication page. Also note that once you have a table selected in your publication page, you will see the Table Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. Within this Contextual tab are the Design and Layout tabs, which contain the button groups you can use to make changes to the selected table. You can make adjustments to the height of the columns and the width of the rows within your table using your mouse. To do this, place your mouse pointer out over the border of the column or row that you wish to adjust until the mouse pointer turns into an icon of a double line with an intersecting arrow through it. When your mouse pointer looks like that, click and drag to adjust the column width or row height. To delete a table you have inserted, simply click the border of the table to select it. Then press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete the selected table from the page. Alternately, you can delete a table by clicking into any cell within the table and then clicking the Delete button in the Rows and Columns button group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Then select the Delete Table command from the Buttons drop-down menu to delete the entire table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.